once upon a time, not too long ago, the beautiful island city of St. Petersburg Beach, Florida, a visitor. Now, this is not unusual, for St. Pete Beach is a popular resort. However, this was no ordinary visitor. It all started, but our visitor should tell his own story. Space Scout X-14 reporting on Earth exploration. As I approached Earth, I zeroed in on the Florida Peninsula, a mist dead center, and came in on an island midway down Florida's west coast on the Gulf of Mexico. I landed in what I later learned was the resort island of St. Petersburg Beach and decided to materialize. That's better. My main purpose was to find out if this planet called Earth was inhabited. And then, I saw it. And it saw me. The creature seemed friendly enough. But I kept my eye on it. Then it started to attack. I had to do something quick. <sighs> that stopped him. There was only one thing to do. I decided to reappear as one of them. We became friends at once, but I soon learned we were not alone. Run for your life! <gasps> Just made it. Oh, I couldn't catch the words. <laughs> but the meaning was clear. Having made two mistakes in as many seconds, I decided to stay invisible until I knew what to expect. My first idea of how the inhabitants looked was very wrong. They are called humans, and rather pleasant in appearance. They seemed a little underdressed to me, until I realized this is a popular holiday resort. And do they have fun? Holy Jupiter! He almost got me! I continued my investigation elsewhere. There are lovely homes on the islands with all the conveniences humans have as yet contrived. These humans are really funny. They leave a home like this, get in a boat right behind the house, and take off with a basket of food to eat it on a picnic somewhere in the surrounding waters. Tampa Bay or Boca Ciega Bay or the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. They just get in boats and ride around for the fun of it. I think it's because of the brilliant waters, bright sunshine, and tangy salt air. When they're not in a boat, they're likely behind it on water skis. This is a very popular sport in the sheltered bays behind the island. Humans are behind us technologically, but they're coming along. St. Pete Beach has a dry storage marina with amazing boat handling equipment. I sure would like to own one of these sleek power boats, but that takes money, uh, which these humans still use. In fact, there's a whole museum of money in St. Pete Beach. It has Indian wampum, and millions upon millions in Confederate money from a government that no longer exists, but people still save the money. There's money from a place called China, and many strange and ancient coins. Humans have been using money such a long time, it'll be hard for them to break the habit. There's another unusual museum in the resort, a wax museum with life-sized figures, one figure stands outside and is dressed like a colonial policeman. Guides give conducted tours, and it's really very educational. Inside the museum are the rulers of nations, like England's Queen Victoria. There's the United States' Benjamin Franklin and other patriots. 
Right beside such honored figures as the Founding Fathers is the infamous pirate Blackbeard. He stole a lot of money, and money is important to these people. When I first saw the golden geodesic dome of the Aquatarium, I thought of home. This is another tourist attraction and very entertaining. Trained porpoises and seals perform to the delight of the visitors. I particularly like the porpoises. They actually seem to smile and get a real kick out of performing. There's a jumping whale too. His name is Jonah, which amuses people for some reason. In the giant main tank are hundreds of different species of marine life. In small tanks, tiny seahorses and tropical fish in rainbow hues are displayed. Suddenly, another thing about living and vacationing in St. Pete Beach was apparent, the good fishing. Everyone fishes from every conceivable place, bridges, piers, boats, surf. Humans will spend days in quest of the tarpon, the Silver King. Many visitors and residents go fishing from party boats, which are very economical. Well, there I go, thinking like a human. When the kingfish are hitting, it's as exciting as chasing asteroids in the Milky Way. Catches are tremendous. When the boats come in, a crowd gathers, and I don't mean just humans. There are some comical looking birds called pelicans who gather around for a handout. By this time, I knew my way around pretty well, so I decided to reappear as a pelican and get a free meal. Very tasty fish. Pelicans are excellent flyers. What better way to get an overall view? Oh, it's lovely sailing along on a tropical breeze. And the view, an island in the sun set in a shimmering sea. St. Pete Beach is an excellent family town, either for a vacation or a place to live. Healthy, clean, year-round outdoor fun. There's a gentle surf, just right for little humans, and very relaxing. Seashells to a child or an adult is a miracle of nature. Big humans use all kinds of native materials to make attractive and unusual products at the community center. That sunshiny feeling is a part of everything. Even art shows move outside at the Suntan Art Center. Young and old enjoy a well-planned city recreation program. Children learn to water ski at an early age. And there's expert instruction in a wide variety of other sports and activities. From modern rifles to old cannon. Nearby is Fort DeSoto Park complete with old guns for a make-believe battle or a photo prop. Naturally, there's a fine white Florida beach. There should be no trouble finding St. Petersburg Beach once you get to the Florida Sun Coast. There are plenty of signs and plenty of accommodations. Most are the latest in earthly comfort and fit any vacation budget. 
Oh, there I go thinking money again. I'm beginning to understand why so many humans enjoy St. Pete Beach. Fact is, this is a most pleasant assignment, an enjoyable investigation. It's just plain fun with everything to make the living easy and talk about service. Good food, too, in a wide variety. And out of this world seafood. You'd think after all this fun in the sun, things would quiet down at night. The merrymaking goes on and on. This is a real swinging place. After a night like that, these people are up bright and early for a game called golf on one of the many excellent courses in the area. The whole idea is to knock a little white ball into a hole in the ground. Most of all, these humans are boat happy. They pile the whole family into the boat and go exploring. They don't concentrate on cosmic problems or centrifugal calculus. Maybe our way of life is too advanced, too far removed from the simple pleasures. For instance, I was amazed to see humans depending on the wind for power. Very unreliable. However, they do this for sport, not for transportation. And what sport it is. By this time, I was convinced that St. Petersburg Beach was the place for me. Pleasant surroundings with modern buildings and churches of all faiths. But to stay, I'll have to materialize as something. I'd like to be a human, but they need money, and money means work. Now, if one has to work, there's no better place, but we haven't worked for generations. I'll have to give this some very careful thought. Cats are nice, but then there are dogs to chase you. Pelicans get free handouts, but who would want to look like a pelican? Let's see. In St. Pete Beach, everything happens on the water, near the water, or in the water. I've got it. There's only one answer for me. I'll be a porpoise. Star of the water show and all the free fish I can eat. All that water and sunshine and just for making people happy. So that's it. From now on, St. Petersburg Beach is my permanent address. Well, that's the story of our most unusual visitor. You're right, Mr. Trainer. you have one more hungry porpoise to feed. Our ex-Base Scout X-14 was named Happy because that's what he is. Enjoying the applause and playing to the many tourists who find the beach, the sun, the climate and relaxing atmosphere of St. Pete Beach really out of this world. Fact is, many make the same decision Happy did. Well, not to be a purpose, of course, but to make St. Petersburg Beach, Florida, their permanent vacation address. <laughs>